What's going on everybody? Today we are setting out on a new adventure. Uh, I was recently asked to make somebody a cup. I never made a cup. I've always wanted to. So of course I said yes. <laughs> um, I'm actually shooting with my garage door open because it's finally like starting to get nice here in Idaho. And I hope that I can keep it open for most of this because it's really nice out. I never made a cup before. I've always wanted to, and I just needed somebody to ask me to make one and give me a little bit of money to push me to make it. So to start, I'm gonna make two cups. I'm gonna practice on one, which is gonna be made of ash. And then I'm gonna make one out of walnut. So I might make more than two, but it all just depends on how well and how easy the first one is. But there's only one way to find out. So let's go. So I'm actually gonna be using my wedgies to set up these cuts. Something I wasn't quite sure if it was gonna work or even how to set the angle with it, but I figured it out and I was kind of just hoping it would work. Uh, it seemed like it would work in my head and uh, spoilers it works it's pretty cool to know that my wedgies are multifunctional that you don't need a wedgie sled to get the angles that you need for the cuts that you want ah watch your fingers oh man I'm so sorry I don't know what I was thinking there do not do that don't do that <clears throat> anyways where was I? Wedgies? Making a cup? Oh, right. Thanks. Sure. Like I was saying before, the sash cup is going to be the practice cup. Uh, it allowed me to make sure that all the angles were working and that they were all tight. Once I learned that they all were good, I could then continue on to cut the walnut. It's kind of weird because I should have been a little more nervous to do this project but I kind of just dove into it and had confidence in myself and started doing it and I wish that I could be like that with all of my projects because I have never done this before I've never made a cup but for some reason I felt like I was just gonna nail it like I was just gonna do such a good job with it from the beginning I think a part of that has to do with segmenting I do a lot of segmenting so I I can confidently go into a segmented project, but still, usually learning something new and creating something new often brings some form of anxiety to me when I start it. But with this one, it was mostly just excitement and I guess confidence. I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyways. One of the main concerns that I had with the cup was making sure that it was going to be wide enough on the inside to actually hold <laughs> like a decent amount of liquid in it. I didn't want somebody to take like one sip of their drink and just have it be done. I mean, it's not a shot glass. It's a cup. You need to drink out of it and receive nourishment <laughs> from it. Anyways, the thing that I wanted to do to make sure that this thing had enough room on the inside was to make sure that there was very little material taken off on the outside. The less material I take off on the outside, the more material I could take off on the inside. So all I had to do was just get this thing round. I just wanted to get it to its basic shape and uh, then I could start turning the inside. And when I turn the inside, that's going to determine the shape of the rest of the cup. Oh no. Not to worry. I have plenty of hot glue. Yes, I used hot glue to attach the cup to the base. I have gotten a few requests on how to do this and why I use hot glue to attach a lot of my projects to the base. That is coming, so be patient with me. If there was a point of concern with this project 
this is it right now. I haven't really done any sort of these mortis and tenon type of projects. So I wasn't 100% confident in it, but I knew that if I just would take my time and ease into every cut and just continually measure, that it would work out, mostly. I wanted the tenon to hit the bottom of the cup so that I have a lot of points of contact. Um, I would have the sides and I would have the bottom and I would have the top all making contact with the cup giving me just a really good glue up. The next day once the glue had fully cured I could then separate it from the hot glue base which is now the top and start turning out the actual cup. This was a little bit nerve-wracking because when you're sticking your tool that far down into the cup, if you catch, that piece is just gonna come flying off. Luckily, you boys got some skills. I've done this before and I didn't lose the cup at all. And I felt like the inside of the cup was a little bit narrow, but it was good enough. This is the practice, so I know what to do on the walnut one. Hey, remember how you lost all that footage for the walnut cup? <laughs> yes, I remember. I lost all of my footage on carving the actual walnut cup, so forgive me for that. Trust me, I've beat myself up enough about it. I did get the walnut cup done, and it looked great. Uh, I ended up taking off a little bit more material than the ash one and I made it a little bit wider. Now let's talk real quick about the finish. I'm using Total Boat Penetrating Epoxy for two reasons. One, it's epoxy so it's waterproof. Two, it's penetrating so it'll actually seep into the wood further than regular epoxy. I don't want to talk too much about it because I know there's a lot of opinions out there and you guys can feel free to express them to me in the comments. And once I had waited the allotted amount of time for the epoxy to cure, I could then sand it. The nice thing about penetrating epoxy is that I can sand off that kind of plasticky glossy look and get back to the real wood look. Um, but since it's penetrating, I know that the epoxy is actually set inside the wood and I know it's protected. So after I had everything sanded down and looking good, I could then start the cleaning process. I wanted to make sure that there was no epoxy dust left on these cups at all. So first I sprayed them with just water and wiped them down and then I came in with some mineral spirits and re-wiped it down and then after that I took them inside and I actually washed them with soap and water and then left them to dry. The nice thing about washing them with soap and water was I could actually tell how well the epoxy was protecting the wood and I'm sorry I forgot to take video of that but it worked it was great I'm adding in some furniture butter just for an extra layer of protection which I kind of regret because as soon as I poured a cup of water into the cup I could taste furniture butter <laughs> um, Furniture butter is non-toxic, it, it wasn't going to hurt me, so that's why I used it, but I don't think it was necessary. It just made those things look really good. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a wrap. Two cups, ash, walnut, waterproof, awesome looking. I'm really happy with the way that these things came out, especially considering that this is my first time I've ever made cups before. So I really like that even though this is a segmented piece, it definitely doesn't look segmented. It looks like it's one whole piece of wood. Um, and it came out looking awesome. I definitely need to get better on 
uh, attaching the base though because I definitely had some problems and I think the main problem that I had with the base was that I just turned it too thin and so that's why you see these uh, fillings in here with some super glue because I turned it too thin and it eventually broke through to the uh, plug that I put in here and I think the way to fix that is just gonna be to make the wood that I start with make it a little bit thicker um, <clears throat> and maybe make the plug the actual piece that I insert into the cup a little bit smaller in diameter okay I posted this I posted some pictures and stuff about these guys on my Instagram and of course I was flooded with DMs about the finish. Can you guess what the controversial topic is on using epoxy in a wooden cup? Is it food safe? Can you actually drink out of it? Am I going to get poisoned and die if I use this over time? And the answer is, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I am. I, this is my first time. This is my first time I've ever done anything like this. I'm very curious to see what everyone has to say down in the comments below. What do you guys think? Should you use epoxy or should you not use epoxy on things like wooden cups? I had so much fun making these things. Uh, it was a great learning experience and I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that you guys learned something as well. Let me know what you learned down in the comments as well as your opinion on epoxy on wooden products. <laughs> Anyways guys, that's it for me. Be good, be safe, be happy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!